Maybe I should now put on the robes again. Hey, look at this. There's some rooms here. Master, was this what I was supposed to become master? Guess so. Holy shit! Not even the carrion eaters are. Doesn't matter what I do. I'm just not strong enough to be able to kill these guys. Let alone save my companions. Wondering at this point if I should just let my companions get killed. They don't seem to do much now against the super mutants. I think the best thing I can do is continue leveling up. I need to go to the glow. I should have more than enough gems and everything. But I do need to clear out my bags. I think I have way too much junk. I have the mini guns I want to sell. So I'm going to head quickly back to the hub. And from the hub, I will walk all the way down to the glow. So I traded all my gear, I bought a buttload of Kim, so I basically just bought out the whole Kim dealer stash, traded some combat armor I had and some mini guns, and I, I hope I have enough room to carry something, if not I'll have to just drop Kim's. Anyway, I'm heading down to the glow. I didn't want to go in the crater. Go in the facility. Okay, once I'm here, I'm gonna take a few radix. Radix, one right away. I should be fine. I explored the first level. Let me get my yellow key card out. I think that's what I need to open this. Authorization granted. Now disarm me electric field. Nice. A down to first floor? I guess I'm on the first floor, so second floor. Yes, see a computer. System, power management, primary emergency. Okay, so it's just like upstairs. Let me take a look without the power on and see what there is to do. Oh, what's this over here? These things. Sentry robot. Looks unhurt. Oh shit. There's mines here. I don't have my other weapon equipped. So they just stand up. They're not attacking, I believe. They're turned off. Well, obviously, this is going to be a trap once they are activated. 
kill them all. A little cheesy, but I don't think they're powerful enough to kill them once they're on. We can loot the bodies. Max capacity already. Heal from dog meat. Oh, can dog meat carry stuff? That would make me really happy if he can. Oh, he can't. Let's head down to the elevator again. I think that's it through this floor. We found some grenades and we found a red key card. That should help us keep advancing in this facility. Also, I sort of should check out my rads. I'm not sure. I have eight rads. Okay, that's fine then. So time left before I need to use them right away. Okay, so we need to use the key card every time we use the elevator. Okay, there seems to be another terminal here for the lights, I would imagine. Offline. We kill the robots and look for any loot on the floor. Yeah, I've healed everyone. Let's keep looking. Hopefully I don't run any into any more mines. We don't feel there's a reason to go in here. I won't. There's probably just mines there. We'll go check out the lockers and we'll go check out the elevator. Maybe they don't need more drugs. Literally a walking pharmacy, but can't help myself. Bobby and opening the door for me. Very kind. Head over to the elevator, check it out. I guess I would say this requires a red key card. So let me test it out. Realization granted. Four, six. Let's see five here. Go. So, well, this is third, I guess. Now that I think about it, let's go to the fourth floor. Just looking around this gloomy place. This seems to be a computer. Okay, I think that's where we need to go. And here's another elevator. Gonna clear out the robots that I find, look for some loot, and head over to the central room where the glowing light comes from the computer. Continue looking. I can always come back for these grenades if I need them. Some random equipment in this room. Nickel table. This a blue pass key.
We have a red key, blue key, and a yellow key. See an extremely advanced computer. How may I be of assistance? Tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government. The company initially consisted of two divisions, so that's Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Division. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government. Its largest contract being Powered Infantry Armor Model T-51B. So the original power armor, I believe. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Virus Project, PIVP, the United States Defense Department, in fear of the international espionage, moved the team onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Thanks for the info. What else can you tell me, my friend? Who or what are you? I am a mechanical intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I am called Zax. What time the research? I am specifically programmed for research into biology, biological studies, including pathological and genetic research. Our primary function is an extrapolation of information of complexity levels exceeding human capacity. Who programmed you? I guess he doesn't know. Grant me access to the main tray. Access granted. Main menu. Select option. Security information. How about base information? Security information. Security robots inactive. Search information. Records most current of at West Tech Research Facility. Research division employees records. Research personal records. Robert Anderson, research assistant, security clearance, blue, station, military, Mariposa military base. Robert Anderson. Wait a second. Is Robert the guy Harold went with? Nick Davis, director of NBC Division of West Tech Research, security clearance, blue, stationed West Tech Research Facility. John Isaac, Research Assistant, Security Clearance, Red, Station West Tech Research Facility. Steve Remco, Research Assistant, Security Clearance, Blue, Mariposa Military Base. Charles Reinhold, Research Head of Laser Development, Research Clearance, Blue, Station West Tech Research Tool Facility. Michael Santos, Lab Technician, Security Clearance, Red, Station Tech Research Facility. Aaron Shalman, Lab Technician, Security Clearance Blue, Station Mil Mariposa Military Base. Leon Von Belden, Research Head of BFEV, Security Clearance Blue, Station Mariposa ba Military Base. Download records to Pet Boy. Hello, Power Armor Status Complete. Power Armor Specs. The T 51. B powered infantry armor designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military distributions. Disturbances. The back mounted TX28 microfusion pack generates eight, I mean 60,000 watts to power the high flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit made of the latest poly laminated composite. The T-51B sh shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules kinetic impact. The tin micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite subsurface. Download records to Pip-Boy. 
FEEF, Fourth Evolutionary Virus Status Pending, FEV Summary Biogest, 2073, as China became increasingly aggressive with the use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that the countermeasures, that a countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Varian Project, PVP, was officially formed September 15, 2073. 2075, it became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076, unforeseen side effects began surfacing early 2076, with the PVP animal test subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied by increased brain activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries and in the interest of national security, moved the team, team on site to secure and oversee the project that was now dubbed the FEV, Force of Evolutionary Virus Project. 2077, FEV nearest completion, tests on lab animals are at a near 100% su success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60% and the potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remain unknown. Although they are ther theoretically promising, the military wishing to continue further testing builds a large facility at Mariposa Military Installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FE virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Download records. Main menu. Power terminus. Power management. Primary power. Reinitialize primary power. Error, error, primary system initialization failed. Emergency power. Disable. This is the mainframe. Power terminus. Enable. Emergency power. Well, it looks like this is where I should be able to turn on the power, but I'm missing something. Okay, let me take a look. These generators seem to be offline. Wonder if you can start them back up. Okay, I see. I see. I'm gonna need to repair them, I imagine. Hey, I brought the generators back online. I've leveled up. It's going to continue pointing points into energy weapons.
Let's restart the power. Oh, it was pretty dark. Damn. This means that we should have access to the fifth floor. I'm very, very, very afraid now. Don't granted. Then I'll be healed. Let's get ready. Fifth floor. Yeah, we have robots ahead. Ooh, seems like there's loads of loot over here. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I don't have space for this. I'll just check and see if there's anything great. I can always come back if there's something I must have or drop stuff. The closest to this guy? Hit it in the CPU. Oh, I killed it. Damn you, Ian. I shoot him in the CPU again. Oh no, dog meat. I keep forgetting you can't shoot over him. You're one fat dog, dog meat. Holy shit. I hope you run away. You wanna just shoot me? It's okay. Oh shit, there's more than I thought. Kill it, dog meat. You got it, boy. Those aren't as hardcore as a Nikon I was trying to fight over in Cathedral. Armed by attack. Very cocky robot we have here. Ah. Uh, no reason to loot up these robots, I guess, but I want to see what they have. A sniper rifle. Oh. I may have to come back here. Did I? Yeah, am I taking rads because I... I read a book here? I have zero rads now. I guess my round away just caused effect. Read my pit boy. What is this info we have? It has to be this alpha experiment tape. Prototype. Pan immunity Byron project. In the hopes of countering the current bio bacteriological and viral agents employed by the Chinese government, we have manufactured a virus fragment consisting of Rebu. Nucleic acid are in a enclosed in a protein lipid sheath. This viron contains a specifically arranged sequence of radiated amino acids RAA that are compatible and attaching to non specific binding sites on the virulic acid DNA and force a non replicating mitosis to occur. The resulting host cell is left with a quadruple helix DNA structure. Early tests are promising. The virion easily penetrates the cell membrane and attaches directly to the host DNA in the nucleus. Mitosis of the structure begins almost immediately. Cytokinesis is prevented by controlling the disease Disposition of the mitotic cycle lasts approximately two hours. 
My skill part doesn't matter. Although a phen phenotypical expression of the new structure may take days or weeks to become apparent. In addition to the effective immunity to bacterial viral agents, the quad helix structures is almost entirely immune to errors introduced in base pairing during replication due to multiplicity of the base sequences. Radiation exposed tissue showed no mutation in base sequence and protein synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes were unimpaired. Over 80% of the sample tissue contained quad helix DNA. Most affected was muscle and bone tissue, as well as the secretory cells, as these cells seem most receptive to virons. Sensory cells are the least affected. Uh, surprisingly, even non replicating nervous cells and non somatic cells were induced to begin mitosis. Further experiments will be necessary to determine the research of these cells. That was a lot of big words for they were making mutants, I believe. Let's go check out all the loot and be how be extremely pissed that I did not clear out my bag before coming. Found some bullets. I guess I can take that. I just read a couple. Another one. Another hollow disc. I should try to read that before I get too many. The military has deemed it necessary for us to research further in depth of effects of wave technology upon living organisms. We have taken light and, and sound as the basis for our studies. By manipulating the amplitude of light waves and magnifying the frequency, we have been able to get lasers which will cut through a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task has not been fully developed. We have other scientists looking into that. A buttload of ammo and stuff I can't carry, grenades. I'll come back, I'll come back, minigun, of course. Another radio, which... Well, I have two radios. Maybe I need to sell one. Just drop it. Yes, I don't. I need to buy a backpack and leave it at the hub and just hope my stuff doesn't disappear. Oh. These are microfusion cells that are worth some man. Oh boy. I don't think I need another one. I already have two. What's this? Laser pistol. Pick it up. need to know. Is it better than... Drop my backpack. And the 22, it's not as good. It's my rifle. I sort of wish I didn't take the one-handed perk. The one idea was to do it with melee weapons the whole way through. Just melee weapons aren't that good, to be honest. Or I haven't found one yet that's worth it. Oh, this. FPB experiment tape. Log date. March. 21st, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10 011, a pan immunity viron, which has been renamed FEV for Force Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than its main effects of replicative 
replicative. Replicative? Something like that. Stability. 